morning everyone this is dheeraj from anvish technical team and i welcome all of you to this uh, weekly training that we conduct for uh, our customers where we discuss number of things related to hardware solutions related to software solutions the troubleshooting steps and each and everything that we cover uh, you know a topic wise sessions topic wise training in you know like alternate tuesday so i really appreciate your time for this training uh, we will go through the number of points today again if i talk about today's training session this will be the really different training session apart from the hardware solutions and the software solution that we have this training will focus basically on the major things like you know the if i talk about the support if i talk about the on site installation if i talk about the troubleshooting steps which we we need to take care at the time of installation and configuration this training will help you uh, your technical team your support team or your installation team to you know to troubleshoot the devices to troubleshoot the uh, and with hardware solution so in this training we are going to discuss on the test scores basically those are the troubleshooting scores which can be used for uh, configuring your devices or which can be used to troubleshoot the devices at some cases which will activate number of hidden features which are not open to all of the like public customers like you know so these two these these test scores will help you guys these test scores will help the installation team to open up to activate some hidden features which can give them the ease of installation the ease of troubleshooting the device if your device is uh, you know malfunctioning somewhere then you can use this test score to troubleshoot the devices by activating with some test scores basically so let's start with the trainings so that we can get uh, more information what exactly we are going to cover in the training session so today we are going to have a brief on the company like what exactly the anvis is where we focus and where we are and everything then apart from that the main core subject of the training is uh, the test scores so we will have some introduction to the test scores i will show you the number of test scores which can be used for troubleshooting the devices uh, with some components of the devices i can say and then then we will have a common test scores and the function the respective function of the test scores uh, so that your installation team can use the test scores on the devices on the hardware device so that you can get some hidden functions of the device hidden features of the device that will help you uh, to troubleshoot the device in a, in a proper manner and then we'll have a question and answers uh, so that you can you can ask your queries you can uh, get the answers for those questions so throughout the session if you are having any questions any queries you can drop your questions in uh, uh, q and a box so that uh, at the end of session we will have uh, the q and a session where we will discuss our, on your queries and questions so i request all of you to just give focus here so that you can get more to test course that we are going to show here today so if i talk about uh, the training session let's start with the things so about anvis if i talk about the anvis like anvis is a global leader in smart security industry since last 22 years we are in the market since 2001 anvis is is, is, is i can say the world's base uh, biometrics and rfid service uh, and solution provider uh, who is like you know who is there in like which is there uh, across the globe providing the solutions on biometrics and video surveillance and smart security solutions or smart building solutions we have expanded ourselves with multiple solutions considering the iot solutions or cloud technology so we we have come up with innovative solutions for those segments as well basically those those solutions supporting to the core uh, core solution of anvis so if i talk about the anvis presence we are having a global rnd center and global operations center at china that is on the base of the shanghai then we are having our us office as well uh, in california and then then we are having a vast or expanded manufacturing base uh, or expanded across or you know spread across uh, 50000 square meters which is having a capacity which is having a manufacturing capacity of 2 million units per year so this is very 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 vast expansion you need of a very uh, spread vast vastly spread unit for the manufacturing uh, base basically and we is being a world leader into uh, the security and uh, security and safety products solutions and services 
we majorly focus on access control and time maintenance solutions and we are having a separate segment for uh, smart surveillance management solution as well so we are connected with 2000 plus global partners who are taking care who are representing enemies in the market on ground we are connected with 200000 plus installations uh, installed customers so where we have you know the installation that we have done on ground from uh, from Anvis, uh, for Anvis solutions basically. Then apart from that, there are 300,000 plus uh, SMB registered users and the enterprise users who are already using Anvis solutions for their automation purpose, for their uh, time attendance and access control solution purpose. If I talk about the success stories or successful cases, there are more than 100 plus or 1000 plus success stories available uh, from our side which can be divided into small small medium which can which can be a part of uh, the project level cases so you can you can get more success stories on our website so so just log into www.anvis.com and you will get the successful cases or the case studies which you can refer for your reference purpose but if i talk about the major success stories we are proudly announcing these three success stories which are the major success stories where we have implemented uh, the number of solutions i can say so the first one is Mexico government lioness fingerprint detection project where we have provided the access control solution for controlling uh, the access of 100,000 plus staff and uh, which is installed, which is implemented across uh, across the Mexico uh, over 1,000 plus sites. Second one is the top 20 universities where we have provided the cloud-based time attendance solution, which is basically the project was basically designed for uh, the time attendance purpose where we are uh, we are capturing the attendance we are controlling and we are managing the attendance of 150000 plus students and faculties uh, throughout the top top 20 university apart from that there are number of corporate corporate cases corporate projects that we have implemented from our side uh, the, the the main or the important one is the total security solution where we have provided uh, the access control solution for 50000 plus staff which are scattered across 30 plus global branches so these are the top successful cases and more many more are available on the website which you can refer from our website as well. so if i talk talk about the, the core topic of the training that is taste scores so as i said like taste scores are a series of numbers you can use a particular number which which you can get from technical support team and with technical support team which you can use on the device to activate some hidden functions hidden features and uh, then that can be used to generate some output from the device, which will give you the, the, the result, like where the problem is basically. So these are the test scores which can be which can be used on a particular devices. If devices are having a color LCD screen or a touch screen device, then these test scores can be used. These test scores will not be compatible with the devices which are not having the display. So basically, to enter test code, we need to have the display and uh, we need to get the output on the display itself. So these test codes can be used for the debugging or the troubleshooting or the testing of the device basically. So this is what just an example where we can enter 000031 on a particular device and then you can get whether uh, you can get the fingerprint sensor output and you can just easily get where the sensor is fine, sense if sensor is okay or sensor is damaged if it is having any scratch lines on the sensor you can is it will be easily visible on the display itself so uh, like in the same way there are multiple test codes which we will we will going to we will discuss in this training again so for that like uh, your technical team your support team need to have the basic understanding basic knowledge like how we can use the test codes on the devices so you can input the test codes like you know without any admin permission so there is no need to log into the device menus using the admin code so if you don't know the admin pin still you can use the test codes obviously these test codes will be with the installation partners only no need to give this test code to the end users so that they can play with the devices again so just keep these test codes with you so that you can use the test codes for troubleshooting purpose basically so if you if you don't know the admin pin or the admin code for the device still you can use the test codes to get out from the device so for that that, that you know you need to have the device with a physical keyboard or into keyboard or you need to have the device with the touch screen so that you can enter the test codes and then you can get the output from the device itself 
So if your device is not having a physical keyboard or physical keypad, you can still use the test course, uh, you know, without any admin permissions for the touch screen devices I'm talking about, where you can input the test course on the touch screen display, and then you can get, you can use the virtual keyboard, which is available on touch screen display to enter the test course and to get the output from the device again. So if I talk about the number of test codes and the related functions, which will get activated once you enter the test code, then there are multiple test codes. We will cover a few of the test codes, which we can, uh, like we can understand that those are required at the installation time, those are required at the uh, troubleshooting on site. So these are the test codes, test codes that you can use from your side. So the first one is uh, live aid detection calibration. So uh, as you know, like Anvis uh, is having multiple variants, multiple models in uh, in the finger in in a face detection uh, solutions where face recognition solutions where you can uh, you can have or your customers may have number of issues with the face detections and the calibration of device. So you can use the test course for calibrating the device and the the you know the calibration of face detection basically. So when your face recognition device has uh, you know, identified user which is registered on the device using a username or ID, but it is not getting verified by the device, then there could be a problem with the live head detection system. So in live head detection system, you need to calibrate the device with the calibration. And for that, you need to, you know, either you can have the calibration tool that we provide to our customers, or you can go on the device, you can use this test code to calibrate the device from your side again. So for more details on that, uh, either you can raise your ticket to support portal so that we can help you out with the step-by-step -step process for the calibration, or you can use the test code 000012 on the device, just enter the, just input the code uh, using a virtual keyboard, and then you can get uh, the calibration screen on the device itself, using which you can calibrate the device. So there is calibration pattern which you need to follow for calibrating the device. So for that, you need you can you can just go on a website. You can just go to the document support documents page where you can get the calibration uh, solution, or you can just go to the FAQ session where you can get the calibration option or calibration document for that, which you can use the calibrate to the device. Then another one is authentication of biometric identification. So after changing the device hardware accessories or you no, know, generally when, when we provide, when we supply devices to customers, the devices are sometimes not activated. Or if you, if you, you know, if you uh, just uh, update the firmware or if you upgrade the device hardware or device hardware accessories, then the biometric, or, or, or you can, if you upgrade the biometric, biometric algorithm, then device may need a factory author authorization from our side. So, you know, so that it can work on a fingerprint and the face recognition. So for that, you can just uh, input code 000014 so that you can get the, uh, the basically the number of uh, key patterns and the serial number of the device and the combination of serial number and other things, which you can send it to us. And then we can provide the uh, keys to activate uh, uh, the detection, the, the authorization pattern of fingerprint and the face recognition. For face series, uh, face pass seven device, basically you, sh you should provide the screenshot after inputting the code 000013. So in this, uh, like if I talk about specifically this uh, identification code or this uh, test code, for face pass seven device, the code is 000013. And for other biometric devices, you can use 000014. So once you enter this code as a test code on the device without any admin author authorization, you will get a, 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 you know, a, a QR code with the combination of serial number and other things which we need for, from our side for activating the device algorithm. And then just take a screenshot, take a photo and just send it to the support team so that we can provide the activation keys from our side again. So this is again important feature which you need to take care of. Like if, if your installation team is facing this issue on ground and after installation or after upgrading the algorithm, then you need to uh, provide the uh, QR code so that we can provide the activation keys again.
okay this is very important and a general question coming from you know number of customers like we 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 get all the type of queries and uh, calls and even messages on number of things where the customers are uh, customers are not having their admin pin admin password to enter to the device menus or the device is not connected to a software or the customer is not aware about the ip of device then you cannot connect the device to the software or you cannot remove the admin pin or you cannot reset the admin pin so in this case this will be the useful test code which can generate a random number and then using that random number we can provide you the pin which you can use to enter into the device menu and then you can reset the admin pin from your side so this is a common uh, query this is a common problem that we are getting from number of customers so this will be useful for you like if you forget the admin password then device cannot be connected with a pc or software of or if device is already not connected to software you cannot connect to the software without knowing the ip or without knowing the you know even if you are using a usb cable you need to authorize with that with the admin pin so if you don't know the admin pin you cannot connect the device to the software so for that you need to input 000015 then press okay and then device will respond with a random number which can be resetted after restarting the device so just make sure once if you want uh, the admin pin from anvis technical support team then you need to generate this random code and then make sure you don't restart the device so if you restart the device the random number will change again so till you get the admin pin from and we stream you need to keep the device active basically so for that you just need to enter 000015 press okay the device will respond with the random number just take a picture of that or just copy and paste that uh, just 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 type it in the ticket and then send it to support@anvis.com so that we can provide the temporary pin which you can use to enter into the device menus enter into the device menus and then reset the admin pin or change the admin pin pin from your side so this is again the very important uh, thing that we would like to inform you because we are getting number of tickets number of support queries regarding the admin pin if your customers are not aware of the admin pin and they want to configure the device they want to register the users they need to enter into the main menu device menus using the admin pin so this will be again helpful for uh, us installation team apart from that there is a fingerprint sensor testing code which is again important like if, if as we get the queries like the device is or uh, the fingerprint sensor is not working properly or uh, even if the user is placing finger but still uh, they are not able to like device is not able to identify the finger number of times sometimes it identifies sometimes it, it doesn't identify then in in that case you know you need to uh, it will taste the sensor taste the fingerprint sensor which can give you the confirmation whether the sensor is fine sensor is okay or if there are any damages to the sensor so to get that you need to see the sensor uh, with the with the fingerprint image and to get that like either you can use a, a get image tool which is there which is there from our side which you can get it from our side if your device is connected to the software if your device is connected to the network or usb you can use a gate gate image tool so that you can capture the fingerprint sensor image and you can see whether actually the device sensor is okay or not if you are not able to connect the device then either you can use this uh, code that is 000031 on the device display just using the keypad and then press okay and then you will get a sensor image using which you can see like or we can just confirm whether the device sensor is fine or not so this is again helpful tool for our helpful test code uh, for for the installation people to confirm whether the device sensor device fingerprint sensor is fine or not okay so sometimes it may happen like device you know many of the enemy devices uh, don't have the power power button or i can say the power button to power up the device then you have to cut the power supply to restart it or you need to just you know remove the battery and that so that you know if device is supported to the battery you can just remove the battery but that is not the right way of handling the device so in that case how to restart the device or how to recycle the device for the power 
you know, the, in that case, you can use this test code, which will help you to restart the device. So use 000044, press OK, and then device will recycle the power. So it will restart the device with, uh, you know, with, like if your device is not having a power button to uh, turn it off, then you can uh, use the test code to restart the device basically. Then activate the remote debugging status. Okay. Uh, some actions of system modification require the debugging status active, right? You know, when when uh, when the technical support team is connected uh, remotely with with your device, with the device installed on the customer site, and uh, uh, we may need some uh, some access to the device for debugging purpose, then nobody can you know easily connect to the device in the debugging mode. So only the technical support team can connect to the debugging mode of the device. But for that, we need to get the access, you get the permission from the device and to activate the permission, to activate that uh, uh, that access basically to enter into the de debugging mode, you need to enter the code 0000 core seven. So that is the code which will allow us to communicate with the device in a debugging mode. And then we can, we can uh, do the troubleshooting from our side again. So this is like an important code which you can make a note so that uh, whenever we are connected to uh, the device for the troubleshooting purpose, we can ask you to give the permission from the device side so that we can enter into the debugging mode and then we can configure the things from our side again. Okay, so as you know, like uh, Anvis, uh, there are multiple uh, face recognition solutions which are coming with uh, uh, thermal detection or temperature detection. So for that, if your device is not giving the right temperature, if you feel like, okay, the person temperature or the user temperature is different than what you are able to see on the device screen, then you can just troubleshoot it. You can just confirm whether the temperature sensor is working fine or not. So if you feel the temperature value is not that accurate, or the detection model is not working or it's not detecting the temperature of the user, then you can use the code 000098 to check the infrared, therm infrared thermal imaging, imaging system basically. So which will, which will give you the screen with the uh, thermal detection where you can see the, you know, the user temperature with the, with, with the thermal, thermal image of the user basically. So this, this is what the example that I'm able to show you here where uh, the infrared image of a hand is, uh, is what you are able to see on the device screen. So this will just give you the confirmation whether your temperature model of the device is working fine or it's giving the right temperature of the user or not. Okay, so there are some features that there are some components that, that we have one in the devices with the default uh, condition or the default status of the device of the component basically. So if you want to, one of the one of the device uh, component is the LED light basically. So if I talk about the phase deep five or any phase deep series, devices comes with the LED light for the better in any lightning conditions. So it will automatically activate the LED light so that uh, it will, the device can capture the user face in a proper environment in a in, in a even dark environment as well. But if you are having the proper lightning condition where the device is installed and if you want, if you don't want to use the LED light provided in the device, you can just disable this function, disable this component from your site. So to that, to do that, to disable that, uh, you know, you just need to enter this code 000101. Once you enter the code using the virtual keyboard provided in the device, then the LED light of the device will be disabled. Okay, so as I said, like this can be useful if your device is installed at the environment, at the premises where the lightning condition is perfect for the user identification, then you can disable this LED, the device LED from your side. But we don't recommend to disable this at the dark environment or whether the lightning condition is not proper because that will hamper the user identification or the user recognition, user face recognition as well. So we will recommend you to do this in the lightning, in the proper lightning condition, okay, only. Okay, so this is, these are the basic test codes which uh, 
which can help you to troubleshoot the devices at the at the customer side and then you can just respond to us with the feedback with the output of the device then we can help you out for the further troubleshooting tips from our side so i hope these test course will help you a lot uh, at the time of installation configuration or the troubleshooting at the customer end and still if you are having any doubts any queries you can just raise your support ticket from anvi's website just go to just log into the www.anvi.com go to the support page there is a support ticket option or service ticket option you can raise your service ticket from there and the anvi's technical support team will be available for you to support you in all other queries so if you are having any queries with any questions you can just raise your queries here in a q and a box okay so apart from that i was telling you about the support and other things like uh, we are available uh, for 24 by 5 where we can support you from multiple uh, countries and into english and spanish language so for that you just need to raise your tickets from the anvi website you can just go to the anvi website create your login and raise your tickets from there for more details on the warranty policy you can just log to log into the website and then you will get the warranty policy on our website for special offers considering the pricing considering the support for the project level cases i would encourage encourage you to register you as uh, you are pro projects with us so that you can uh you can get the special offers and special support from our side for that you can just email to partner at the rednv.com with your project details okay so there is one question like is that possible to troubleshoot a network issue by using a device code no obviously any electronic device or any com any electronic component that can be a laptop that can be any uh, computer or that can be any device which is working on a network you cannot uh, you, you can only use the ping code ping status or ping tool to check whether the device is communicating with the network in a proper way or not so for that you can just ping to the device ip and then you know then you can get the status over there whether the ping is proper or not if there is a ping disturbance if there is a ping dropage then you can check with uh, with changing the network cables changing the wifi routers and other things but yes those are those are the troubleshooting steps that you can follow to check whether the device is working fine with the network or not or you can just check whether the there is a network issues from the device network module or there is a issue from the network side that you can confirm from there and still apart from that if there are any queries uh, related to uh relative to the network you can just uh, raise your query and then we will definitely guide you on that like how we can troubleshoot the network issues of the devices basically any more queries any questions you can drop into q and a box so that i can i can just help you out with the with your queries yes so uh, one more query from uh, friends like uh, the port 5010 is only used for outbound or inbound also from the device to server so yes so by default port for communication of anvi devices with the server is 5010 but you can change the port as well if i talk about the face pass series then there is a port number which is different than the 5010 for other devices 5010 is the default port for the communication and you can change it from the device but you need to change the same into the software application as well so if suppose i am giving the port let's say 1010 and i am having a communication port mentioned in the software is 5010 then that will be the wrong that will be the wrong configuration so for that you can go to the software application whether that is across standard application you can go into the settings and there are basic parameters where you can configure the you can change the communication port as well and the same port you can use into the device and then device will communicate on that port only 
So basically for, for inbound or outbound communication from server to the device or from device to the server, their default port is 5010, which you can change from your side. Any more queries, you can just raise your queries in Q&A box. Still, if you have any queries, any doubts, you can raise your support tickets as well from Envy's website and the Envy technical support team will definitely help you out with the resolution. Apart from that, I would like to inform you that we have we have we have launched our community as well, like uh, Anvis community, where you can create your account. You can just log into the community community account, and you can get access to a number of things. Like you can you can get access to the user manuals. You can get access to the documents, troubleshooting documents, and other things. You can just interact with the community members or the technical support team of Anvis so that you can gauge the fast response on a, on there itself. So you can just raise your queries, you can get access to the uh, documents, you can raise your uh, feature requests, or you can, you can, you know, you can go through the number of stories and number of uh, queries raised by the other customers so that you can get aware about uh, those queries and those questions, those answers again. So, where, so for that, you just log into the Anvis community. So I hope all these queries are resolved and uh, I hope uh, this training session have added more value to your knowledge about the Anvis solution. And uh, this will help you or your technical team to troubleshoot the devices or the hardware solution on site at the customer end. And you can just make a note of all the test codes. The training video is, uh, will be uploaded on our website in the, the training page. Uh, go to the support, then training, and you'll get all the recorded videos over there. Or you can get the training video on our web, on our YouTube channel. We have an Anvis Technical Support YouTube channel where you can get all the troubleshooting steps. You can get the training videos and other things which we have covered till now. And then you can just, with the help of those videos, you can just troubleshoot your solutions. Okay. So thank you so much, everyone. I, I again appreciate your time, your patience for this training. And then uh, I, I would like to inform you like we will meet again after 15 days time. So every alternate Tuesday, we conduct this public training with number of topics and number of subjects, which will help you out for the NV's solution implementation and installation basically. So I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Have a great day.